Hello Leos, happy birthday to all you late July uh, Leos and thanks for tuning in. My name is Vicki Burley, I am the Rock and Roll Prophetess. I do psychic tarot, psychic astrology, and I've been doing per personal readings for over 30 years. Uh, today we're going to use my deck, which is the Rock and Roll Tarot deck, my own creation, followed by the Beast Mistress Oracle card. If you're a level 2 Patreon subscriber, we will have uh, three additional cards pulled from the uh, Songs for the Journey Home. Okay, the deck has been thoroughly shuffled in between the, the um, in between the videos, and now all we're going to do is go through and just let Spirit pull out the cards that are for Leo for July of 2020. A lot of money cards. Wow, look at that. Um, there is another eclipse happening this month. Where this is an unusual month for a couple of reasons. We're having a third eclipse in our eclipse season, when normally there's only two eclipses per eclipse season. So we're having three, which is unusual. And normally everybody has one full moon and one new moon, and there's going to be two new moons in Cancer. There was one at the end of last month, which was that big ingress thing, and then there's going to be another one. So it's a, there's some unusual activities, and even though the biggest you know thing really went on back in June, we're still in it. We're still in a big time of change and transition. If you don't know your rising sign and would like to know it, I am offering on my website now a free, you can download your free astrology information. You just have to input your stuff and it'll all come out. And then I also have a um, another uh, a video that explains it if you're interested in that. But let's look at this. Yeah, this would be you. Whether you're male or female, all these court cards, which are the people cards. They don't have gender in these general readings. But this would be you, whether you're male or female. This is the fire sign person. This is the Leo. So you're right in the middle and you're surrounded by all this money. You've got one, two, three, four pentacle cards surrounding you. So this is definitely a time of some money happenings, some kind of financial, um, you know, financial dealings. The one to your left, which is coming in, would be the ace of pentacles. So this is a new beginning in money. And it's going to be something that you really like doing. You enjoy it. You like it. You you get you know you you um, get pleasure from it. It's something that you enjoy doing, and it's going to be put you in a position where you're not stressing about money you know anymore. Um, there is a Queen of Pentacles standing right next to you. So either this person may be the one who hires you. They may hire you to do this job. It's new beginning in money. They may be somebody who you team up with in a partnership or a business partnership and you're working together in this new beginning in money. But any, any way you look at it, any way you slice it, they're saying, this person is going to be very beneficial and favorable to you. You know, the Queen of Pentacles also could represent the time frame, something having to do astrology-wise with Earth, and that there's a... The 4th of July eclipse is in the sign of Capricorn, so it's in Earth sign. So there can, there would be something going on um, in Earth sign. The struggle's over. It's indicated all over, but it's particularly showing up here. It says anything that you've been struggling with or anything, you're, you, that's going to be put behind you. And it, it does seem to be, again, more related with prosperity and abundance and things like that. I mean, you're having your, your solar return. If you're late July Leo... You're having your solar return right now. And that is a very powerful time to create anything you want to create. It's more powerful than January 1st. It is your solar new year every year. So if your birthday is in late July, this would be the time to really write your list and, and manifest and create your reality of what you want. And you've got the power of these eclipses behind you. You do have the wish card. So that's like wishes coming true. So if you had a specific question in mind when you were throwing these cards out, your, your answer is yes, you're going to get what you want. Your ships are coming in in the form of the Three of Rods. It says your ships are coming in. This is a big month for success for you, Leo. You are really shining bright. Your sunlight is shining. I know this... I know this quarantine stuff has been hard on everybody, but I think it's probably hard on Leo as one of the most people that it's the most hard on because you're so sociable, you're so gregarious, you love being out and being around people. That's your, you know, that's you, that's your wheelhouse, that's your element. You're in your element when you're out, you know, having fun and cracking jokes and, 
partying and gathering with people. So it's been really difficult. I th well, it's been difficult for everybody, of course, but I think it's been really difficult uh, for you, again, probably more than, than anybody. So um, it seems like this is going to be somewhat of a break in it, or maybe you're just going to be throwing yourself into your work. But you're not, there's people showing up. There's also a Knight of Cups showing up for somebody who's very positive and favorable. Knight of Cups would be somebody much young, maybe younger, who might be a water sign, a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. It also can talk about, well, we're going to have a new moon in Cancer. On the uh, 20th, there will be a new moon in Cancer, so it might be talking about that. But another thing it might be talking about is... Um, the, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, that new moon. But maybe while we're in the time of Cancer, before we transition to Leo. So we, we'll be in Cancer up until the 22nd, and then we'll move into Leo on the 22nd. So you may see, because the ship's coming in, this is like, you see him, you, you, see your, you see the success. He's on the beach, and he's looking out, and he sees his ships. So they're not there yet, but he could see... Uh, on the horizon. He sees his success arriving toward him. So that could be, um, you know, maybe during the time of Cancer you're kind of seeing those ships coming in and then by the time we get into fire around your time, it's hap it's all there. It's happening, you know. It's it's really an initiative. This is more of, oh, I see the road to go. I see a path for me to have the success. And then um, this is, oh, I'm, I'm in it, I'm doing it, you know, I'm, I'm working at it, I'm having the success, I'm doing it. And it's a wish come true. This person also looks over at this wish card. So I do feel that this person is instrumental in your wish coming true, whatever that may be. This one as well, but both of them, I would say both. Okay, let me go ahead and start shuffling up. Uh, that powerful, oh, your, your thing flew right out. I wanted to mention real quickly, though, that powerful eclipse reading. I am going to, it is available till the end of June. It's been very popular. Um, but also, it's going to, I'm going to go ahead and extend it for one week. So if you didn't get a chance to order it and you would like to, you can do that. Yeah, the firefly just flew right out there. Well, you're shining and glowing, and you're magical, sparkly person. <laughs> That's who you are, Leo. All right, so let's see. Fairy lights sparkling in the twilight sky. Each array a unique signature. The call of a soulmate. Your individual waveform attracts a vibrational match. And that's what it is. And that's the power of your solar return, too. These lights... The thing about the fireflies I found out when I was researching when I made this deck was that... You know, I, well, I live in an area where you do see them a lot. And a matter of fact, July and August is when they're peaking, around your birthday time, when you really see a lot of them. Um, and one of the things I found out, which I didn't know, that those lights are just not, they're not just random. Those lights are, each one has its own signal. Just like every individual gives off their own aura, and they're attracting the right person for them, you know. So you're going to be giving off that aura. You're going to be attracting the right people for you. And just like the firefly. Well, another thing, when I look at that, I just, well, I just want to say, let your light shine. You know, let your light shine, Leo. That's what you're great at. You're ruled by the sun. You know, so you're all about the shine, man. Let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I break into song if you've never watched my videos, and that's where the rock and roll thing comes in. But really, I'm not just sitting here and just, oh, let me make up a song. The Spirit sends me these songs. So um, that was this, this little light of mine, right? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. So, yeah, and that makes sense with this, too, doesn't it? Because they're little lights. You know, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. So that's your message. I should. I was going to put something about your birthday, but maybe I should say let your light shine or something as your headline. Well, we'll see. I'm, right now what I'm doing is I'm going to shuffle up this deck because I'm going to cut three cards for our Patreon level 2 subscriber. We're going to put three more cards um, from the Songs from the Journey Home. The way I do this thing is I do one price. Your level 2 Patreon subscriber, then you have access to all 12 videos. You don't have to pay for each individual video. So if that interests you, you can find everything in the description of this video. How to find these decks that I use. How to order the readings that I you know, offer. Everything that I offer, or t-shirts, books, decks, it's all in the description of the video. So you don't have to email me or 
put it in the comments. Just please look in the description of the video because it's all right there. If you enjoy this content and would like to see more, please do hit the subscribe button. I appreciate everyone who does subscribe and likes and shares and everything you do to help support me in this channel. It's all so appreciated. Remember you are love and beauty incarnate. Let your light shine for your birthday energy, Leo. It's very powerful. Wishes are coming true. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.